So section 179 uh, in 2023, you can write off up to $1.1 million for section 179, 1.1 million. For example, if you went and bought a new Hummer, a Chevy Tahoe, a Suburban, a Range Rover, any of these vehicles that have a GVWR rating, so gross vehicle weight rating of 6,000 pounds or more, which almost every single bit uh, medium to large SUV has a GVWR rating of over 6,000 pounds. Almost every single one of them out there. Why? Because no, they know business owners are able to do 179 on them. And what that means is if you go down, today's December, 29, December 19th, if you go to the dealership on December 31st and you buy an SUV, you put no money down and you drive off the lot and put it in service by driving it home and that vehicle cost you $100,000, even though you put no money down, you financed 100% of it, you get a $100,000 write-off this year. Not next year, not based on how much money you spent, not how much money come out of your pocket. It's based on the purchase price. So if it's a $100,000 Suburban Cadillac Escalade and you buy it before midnight on December 31st, you get a $100,000 write-off that day up to $1.6 million based on current tax codes. Now, I think it's now 80% of the purchase price. It used to be 100%. It's going down to 60% next year with Section 179 that allows you to write off the full vehicle the day of purchase, the, the day that you actually put it in service, regardless of how much money you actually put out of pocket. So that one's pretty easy. I don't like that one as much as I do the ch uh, the children being employees because in order to get the write-off for the car, you got to go go into debt and you got to buy a car or you got to come up with the cash if you're not going to finance it. So I don't like that one as much, but if you're going to buy a new car, you might as well buy a new car before the end of the year so you can put it in service and get the write-off this year. Mm -hmm.